No organization is responsible for the content of this video. All errors and omissions are the sole responsibility of myself, David Iverson. This video must not be your only source of information. Please attend official USSA educational opportunities. Please download official USSA educational materials. Okay, so the race is in the bag. We have timed the first run. We've timed the second run. And we should be ready to look at the results. So basically, I can just sort by combined ascending. And I see that uh, bib 9, uh, bib 9, 1, and bib 1 was just a little bit behind them. And then I can go down to the bottom and I see that. I had uh, my worst time here. Yep, everything's sort of inbounds. I don't have anything that's just really out of control. And so I had some people who didn't have the best day in the world, but that's okay. And I didn't have any DNFs for the second run because I just, uh, I chose not to. Okay, so my, my data looks good. And so now uh, I go through, my competitor data looks good. My header data uh, looks fine. I go through and uh, I want to check my penalty, but I know that my penalty is going to be above minimum, so I don't have to do anything there. Factors and lists don't have to do anything there. Officials, I should have that correct. I've made sure on the run data that I've done the number of gates and number of direction changes and that I got the correct forerunners. Uh, I don't care about any of this stuff over here, so I think that I am good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out a first run start list with the club quota included, and then this is going to be what is known as my corrected start list. So this is now sort of the official start list that's going to go into my race packet in where I would have the start list. So I'm going to print out one of those at the end of the race. Then I'm going to print out uh, the race results. And I want them to be official. And I'm going to want the club year on the results and I'm going to want the bib number on the results. I don't care where they started, I want their bib and I want the penalty report. And so once again I'm going to scan down through here and I got the race correct, the date correct, and I've got a giant slalom, I've got my jury, I've got technical data, homologation number, Course setters, forerunners, direction changes and gates, start times. Uh, I got the weather, the snow, I got all that. My unofficial penalty was 65.36. So then I go down through and I double check my results. And that's looking pretty good. And then I get down to my penalty calculation and I see uh, that, and I just see that I do have a penalty calculation and I'm above the minimum penalty, which is good. So I'm happy with my results and my penalty calculation. So I should print that. And then I should print, well, I already printed the penalty report when I did the race results. I should print the transmittal sheet and the transmittal sheet the race was ran as, as scheduled and if it wasn't I'd have to just go in here and put this if I changed the race I'd have to go here and change this information down here but it was ran as scheduled there is my uh, results right there and so uh, shall, this race shall be valid for USSA points as reported, uh, yes. And then the TD is going to sign that. So I'm going to print out one of these. And 
that's all the printing that I need to do. So that's all the printing that I need to do for that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the files that I'm going to send to USSA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate an XML file called U9122, which is the race code that I've been using. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put that into a folder uh, and I'm going to save that and so what I've just saved is that is the oh I haven't done it yet Okay, now that's the file that I'm going to send to USSA. So let's look, because this gives you some, uh, this gives some people some problems. So what I want to do is I want to go find where I am. I'm in split second. National FIS. I want to actually move this race, test for YouTube videos. That's the race that I've just been working on. I want to move that into this race file. Uh, I just botched it. Um, I want to cut it right here. I want to back up. And right now I want to paste it. Okay, so there's two XML documents here. This is sort of the split second timing file. So this is the file that I used to time the race. And it's got a whole bunch of stuff in it that USSA doesn't want. So it's got, so this is 141 kilobytes the file that USSA wants is 36 kilobytes. So this has all kinds of information USSA doesn't care about. This is the file that USSA wants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to email this file to uh, results at, well, I don't even remember what the, what the name of the, uh, because I just have it up on, I, I just get so automatic on it that I just do it automatically. Um, so I'll pull it up here in a second. Yeah, just results at USSA.org. So I want to send this to results at USSA.org, but I can also send it to, well, that's the, that's the computer. Nobody else really wants to see this. Um, human beings are going to want to see this. So I can send this to uh, anybody who would want a copy of the results because uh, this, this is the human readable version. This XML file is the computer readable version and the computer is at results at ussa.org. So I print out what I printed out from, uh, so I, I go back here I printed out a whole bunch of stuff here and then in another video I go through and I show you the other stuff that you have to print out like a timing report form and a TD report and oh minutes and all that stuff. I have a results packet video and I throw it all together. I have the TD review it and sign it and I email where did it go? Um, I emailed this file to USSA, results at USSA.org, and I should be good. I should be done with that race.